Hello everyone and welcome to another video about Lazy. Lazy is a tool designed to streamline the way we capture, organize and manage content from various sources, redefining the process of note taking and information management. I have already published an introductory video and also wrote an article about it. You can find both links in the description down below. Today, however, my focus will be on the inbox section, which serves as the primary repository for the content you capture. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. And now, without further ado, let's dive into it. This is your main inbox, the central hub for all the content you capture. So I've prepared some content to capture together, an article, a Twitter thread, and a video. I selected these formats as examples because I think they are the most common content you can consume on the internet, but you can capture anything from anywhere email, messaging app like Slack, Discord, Telegram, WhatsApp, or PDF, and much more. From the article, I can highlight key points that resonate with me, and then, by simply using the hotkey command plus L, I capture the content. And I can also use the hotkey command plus shift plus C to clip the article. Lastly, using command plus enter allows me to finish up the capturing process. If I go back to Lazy, you'll notice that with three straightforward and quick steps, I've managed to gather the information that interests me. The best part is that Lazy handles all the details. It automatically uses the article's title to name the note card. It recognizes that I have captured an article, and even retrieves the link and the author's detail. Now, let's capture the Twitter thread. So command plus L, then command plus shift plus C to clip the thread, and then command plus enter to capture it. And lastly, let's capture the video. Command plus L, command plus shift plus C. And in this case, I like to highlight some key takeaways from the video before capturing it using lazy AI. To do so, hit slash and choose get key takeaways. Click on insert and finally command plus enter. I go back to lazy and here I find the captured article, the tweet and the video waiting to be consumed. So everything is going well, but what happens when you start to accumulate a lot of articles, tweets, videos and so forth? It's crucial for me to filter the information I capture based on a content priority system which is largely determined by the amount of energy required to consume the content. Lazy's split inbox feature that you can find here on the top right corner helps me in this process. For instance, I prefer to have an article section for all the long form text content that requires a good amount of energy to consume. A tweets section is useful for storing the tweets I gather, which although they can occasionally be lengthy, generally require less energy than articles or blog posts. And lastly, I have a video section to store the videos I collect, as they are, for me, the most low energy content to consume. With that being said, let's click here and we're going to group up all the articles or blog posts. So I want to search for content that contains articles, click on save split, name it articles, and pick a suitable icon. Let's do the same for content that contains tweets. Click on save split, call it tweets, and let's pick a bird icon. Lastly, I group up the content that contains videos. Click on save split. Give it a name like videos and choose an icon like this one. Starting from this point, the system will not just lump together articles, tweets or videos randomly in the inbox tab. Instead, it will systematically put them under their respective split views. So let's try to capture other content.
and check this out. If I go back to lazy, you'll notice that my inbox tab is clear. But when I open the articles tab, there it is, my new article. And this works the same for the Twitter thread under tweets and the video under videos. Finally, I'd like to bring to your attention that Lazy avails features for marking your notes as later or read. This is especially beneficial when managing content within your inbox. Let me create two notes as example. Later notes. and red note. For content you plan to consume later in the day, click L and the note will move to the later section provided by Lazy. And for content that you've consumed but still need to work with, you can mark it as red by clicking R. But as you may notice, the content remains in the inbox tab. A useful practice here is to create another split view this time using the status and selecting red. Let's name it red and assign it a book icon. It's here that you'll find all the content you've consumed but still need to work with before complete archiving. And that's it. Utilizing Lazy has effortlessly optimized my personal knowledge management system, redefining the process of note taking and information management. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon and also join my Discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM and note taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.